morning guys on my way to work it is 7 25 but my hubby forgot his lunch and i have to take it to him which he just works down a little ways from me see that little um <clears throat> alfalfa sprig sticking up there anyway he just works a little ways down from me so i'm leaving early so i can take him his lunch it's one of those things we all do it he said he carried a tool or his tools or something out to his truck and he said he guessed he thought that was his lunch box i mean not at the time he was carrying it but later you know when he's getting his stuff together he thought well i already took, took it out so sorry guys i was trying to make sure you guys don't fall this time anyway it's tuesday last day of the week for my 16 hour shift praise the lord because i am wore out today and i'm not going to claim that though am i'm going to claim it's going to be a good day and i'm not wore out i got home last night and took a shower my usual got in bed my toes started itching like it was my left foot like the second and third from the big toe just started itching like crazy and i'm like what in the world and i scratched but it was one of those that the scratch just won't quit you know the scratch just won't go away and i was just oh and i think i was awake i don't think i went to sleep till a little after two i messed with my toe for about an hour which i finally got up and got a real cold wet rag and put on my foot and just rubbed it you know instead of scratching with your nails just rubbed it with this wet rag and i think that actually oops sorry guys looking like he was coming out of the holder anyway that did help but i had to do it like three times before it ever quit itching and then it was kind of stinging and then once i got it to the stinging part i put alcohol on it and then just left my foot out of the covers i know is this a little tmi left it outside the covers and the fan hit it blew it and then it ceased itching but i mean i really did not think i was ever going to get my foot to stop itching i was like oh great gotta get up in about five more hours well not really i've, I've been getting up at 5 45 instead of 5 30 so <sighs> anyway it was less than that because I went to sleep at, let's see, I went to sleep a little after two probably, three, four, five, forty-five, so I got less than four hours sleep, so anyway, I'm a little on the tired side, you know what I mean, just a little bit dreary, but it's going to be good because today's my last day, my last day, my last day, I get two days off and then half a day on Friday and I'm good. Which I know you guys think a half a day on Friday to y'all would be a full day because it's eight hour shift. But to me it's a half a day because it's not sixteen hour shift. So you know, what's short for some is long for others. So anyway, there's that. And I really don't have anything to talk about with y'all today because I just I think I'm too tired to think. <laughs> just too tired to think. But anyway, I didn't do a lot of makeup this morning. It's supposed to be 84 degrees. It's going to be hot. And having said that, it's just too hot. Too hot for all this heavy makeup. Usually in the summertime, I try to do very light makeup anyway. And what I usually try to do is get my face tan. That way I can just do like some face powder or whatever and then just do my eyes. But, and I did have self tanner on my face, but I don't think I have any on there anymore. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And because of the sun, guys, it's not going to go, it's behind me to this morning. So, and you guys can't see me and I can't fix it. So, I guess I'll get off of here. And I will see you guys. Uh, I'll put, I'll have, I'll, but I don't know if I have any videos ready to go up or not. But this one's going up today. If you're watching this one, I just did this this morning. Um, because I told you guys uh, Mondays and Tuesdays I was going to try to vlog on the way to work and um, put them up immediately that'll give you two videos from me at the beginning of the week Wednesday, usually Wednesdays are a day that I don't do anything I don't do makeup, I, I don't do anything usually Wednesdays is a day of 
what I call a rest day because I'm usually just wore out from the two 16 hour shifts. I just kind of crash on Wednesdays. So, but I'll try to get something up on Wednesday. I'm not going to make any promises, guys, but definitely by Thursday, I'll get something up. It'll probably be Thursday evening. Yeah, lately, I've been doing Thursday evening, or the evenings when I put my when I put my videos up. And that's just because, you know, I try to get all my stuff done, and then it takes a while to edit. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all had new videos. You know. It just, it's very time consuming. So, anyway, <coughs> there's that. I did not have any coffee today, this morning, because it's just too hot. It's too hot to drink coffee. I mean, I love coffee, but I'm burning up. So, Lord willing, I'm not gonna have a headache today. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be just fine. Just stick with my good old water today. Uh-huh, 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 cold ice water. Can't go wrong with cold ice water. That's for sure. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get off of here. And I guess I will see you guys later, Gata. I'm almost to the end of my road. So, then I got to zoom on down. Take my hubby his lunch, which I have plenty of time. It's only 7.30. I don't have to be at work too late, so... I have 30 full minutes and when everything I do like work and my husband's work and all that is just within several mile radius <laughs> of me, it's kind of easy to get around and get your stuff done and if you have to do an errand like this, it's no problem. And guys, I'm sorry, I know right now you guys can't see me at all because of the sun. The sun is bright today. They called for 50% chance of rain, which they did that yesterday too and it didn't it rained that morning, but that was it. It didn't rain the rest of the day. So, I don't know, but it is supposed to be warm. So, here we go. These warm summer days. Isn't that a song? Warm summer days. Yes. Look, I'm an angel. You see the see the light behind me? I'm an angel. Not really. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I have nothing to discuss with you guys today. I was trying to think of something. Um, there was something I was gonna mention to you all, to you guys. I've been looking at videos with the giant print, with the Louis Vuitton giant print. And a lot of people are not liking them, but I do. I think they're cute. And I was wanting to get one, but I was trying to decide, do I want the Speedy or do I, and if I got the Speedy, I would want the Speedy 25, not the 30. Um, do I want the Speedy or the Neverfull? And I, I have two Neverfulls, which the GM I never carry. I only use it for if we're going on trips or something and I pack my stuff in there. Um, but as far as a purse, I do have the Damier EB Neverfull, but I don't carry it a lot. Ever since I've downsized to the little bags, I mean, I carry bigger bags now, but not that big you know what I'm saying and I do like the never full in them I love the bag but I don't know that I would carry it if I got the giant print I don't know that I would carry it <clears throat> not even sure I'd carry it if I got the speedy so the question being do I just want it to have it you know because it may never come again and I know I, I and I'm referring to the wraps guys I'm not yeah no I'm not talking about the what what are they two three thousand just I did I see someone last night said they were three thousand dollars I'm like what you know what aggravates me about that is I seen someone complaining that Louis Vuitton was uh their quality was not very good and I'm thinking oh I know what it was she had ordered a Pochette Matisse and I think she said it was two thousand dollars the Pochette Matisse it was the reverse the reverse uh monogram and it had two spots on it that looked like, she said it felt like glue, but it was kind of sticky. It was a residue, I, I don't know, a residue of something on the front of the flap in two different spots. 
and she was complaining that you know she's that she paid two thousand dollars for that bag that bag shouldn't have a thing on it and i'm sitting there thinking exactly and so she was saying well you know we've done ought to step up there you know it she said this was probably a return and so they were just going to resell it anyway so they didn't even bother cleaning it or nothing which i agree with her two thousand dollars you know that bag had better be in pristine shape and nothing should I have to say you know question and that's just pretty bad if you know I don't know I'm not slamming Louis Vuitton because y'all know how I feel about Louis Vuitton I mean y'all know I love Louis, me some Louis Vuitton but man if you're gonna pay that much for a bag you need to make sure that bag is nice I mean you know make sure it's but anyway, having said that, I'm going back to the giant print. And I'm not talking, I'm talking about a rep too, guys. I'm not, yeah, no, ooh. Something's on fire down there. Either that or it's foggy one, I don't know. Anyway, okay guys, I'm gonna have to get off of here because, I don't know, is that fog? Wow. Anyway, so I'm looking at the Speedy and I'm also looking at the Neverfull. And as much as I'd like a summer never full, I don't know if I'd carry it. I mean, my kid, I don't really have a use for in there. I mean, you know, it's not because a lot of people, if they have children, they get the never fulls. I understand that. I understand that a great deal. But anyway, I don't know. What do y'all think about the giant print? The Louis Vuitton giant print. I just, I think it's beautiful. And I've seen where a YouTuber that I watch, she got the Speedy 30. And it was the red with the red side and one's red one side's red and the other side I think is pink but I'm looking more toward the green and the reason why that green that green just caught my eye but that green could be summer fall winter now I can't remember what's on the other side of the green I want to say it's about the same thing like a pink I'm not sure I don't remember but I really did like that green that green just really caught my eye but y'all know I'm keen on red but about that green I was all about that green so anyway just wondering what you guys what y'all's thoughts are on the giant print and I don't know maybe not yet one I'm because I'm, I'm still in limbo and I'm thinking if you're if you're this much in limbo don't get it because you're not going to carry it because you guys know I just got I just reordered oh, my legs hurt just reordered the uh Palm Springs PM and y'all know and I'll be carrying the crap out of that one anyway so I don't even need another handbag to tell you the truth because the only one well I've been carrying the Sprone you know the Sprone backpack the Dami Azure for the summer and I would like to have one more Louis Vuitton summer well I do I have the Speedy 30 in the Dami Azure but it's a big bag. I mean, to me, 30 is a bigger bag. Since, since I've gone little, some of these bags just seem too big. And I just like, I like the 25 better. I like the 25 a lot better. So anyway, there's that. I just wanted to discuss that with you guys and see what you guys thought about the giant print. The Louis Vuitton giant print. It's all over. It's all over YouTube. But as is anything else that first comes out. You know, the Bichette, I can remember when the Pichette, the Pichette Matisse was, everybody talking about the Pichette Matisse, the Pichette Matisse, I mean, it was, you know, everybody thought it was the bomb, and blah, 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 and it was, I think everybody and their mother, you know, had a video up, and that's all you saw, and the same thing as with before when the Speedy got popular, you know, same thing, so right now it's the giant print, but my question to you is, how do you like the giant print? And do you even have one? If you have one, tell me if you like it. And I'm going to keep watching this YouTuber um, and see how she likes her bag. You know, I'm going to keep watching her and see how she likes it on down the line. So, anyway, there's that. Alright, guys, I'm going to get off of here because this lady in front of me is driving slow and I need to pick up some space. i got 20 minutes and make it but she gonna have to move her butt that's all I'm gonna say
but you're gonna have to get going. So anyway, guys, I'll check with y'all later. Bye.